Okay, Jeffrey, I hear you perfectly well. Oh, I hear you now. Okay. All right, well, let's do the swearing in. We have, uh, I'm recording this video. This is Stephen Mendelson. It's 2024. I am uh, reviewing some home movies that I have. The infamous counselor, Jeffrey Schwartz. Jeffrey, can you state your name? Jeffrey Schwartz. Well said. All right, so here, what I'm going to do now is share a video okay. from 1968 and what we're going to hopefully do is be able to get all all the names of the people here okay go through this okay all right so a lot of them are gone but i remember the names i think that's ab that's jeffrey that's, that's linda jeff schwartz and that's linda who is that where that's rosie that's rosie ab who? that's my grandma rosie schwartz and the first gentleman was abraham schwartz That's uh, your mother, Sandra that's, Schwartz. That's a lovely Sandra. So that's, that's Abe Schwartz, right? That's Abraham Schwartz. That is him. Tell me, where, the where handsome, was he born? The handsome devil. He was born in Slunem, Poland. Might have been Russia, depending on who was invading that, that week. It's called White Russia. But the town is called Slunem, which if anybody read the uh, uh, book Cain and Ebel, Able by Chaim Potek is uh, or Patek is uh, cited there. What did he do for a living? He had a fruit market uh, originally. He actually was an interesting guy. My dad and my uncle were in New York, and my grandparents lived in New York and to, in Brooklyn until my dad was, I think, eight, and my uncle was ten or maybe six and eight. And he had a fruit market that was very successful even in the depression. But one of his biggest clients was Jimmy Durante, who owned a restaurant and he went belly up. And then my grandfather moved to Detroit, where his first cousin, Ben B. Schwartz, who happened to be the biggest wholesale fruit supplier in the city, uh, got uh, he went to him and he opened up what was called the Morris Market in Detroit, and then he was part of the Broadway Market, which was a huge concession that he had all kinds of meats, all kinds of different stuff, and he had the fruit concession there. And then after he retired, he'd sold furniture at my Uncle Murray's at Star Furniture. And there I am, all five foot, uh, four foot 11 of me, that's Harvey and Linda. So we're going to see the quality of the image is going to get a lot better. OK. Where is this? It's open? already Where better because like? I remember seeing it upside down the first time, but that's OK. Where are we? Uh, that appears to be. Let me see. I want to say it's on Kenton, but I'd have to see more to know for sure. All right. Tell me about your grandmother here. My grandmother also was born in Slenum, Poland, and they were uh, childhood uh, friends there. But they came first to New York and then Detroit. Uh, I'm not sure the date of their marriage. I'd have to look it up. Um, but they were obviously married before they moved to Detroit. Uh, and uh, they came over in, I believe, 1921 to the United States. So everybody's that wearing is, a tie here. That, that, that is almost for sure got to be on Kenton. So I think this is you all getting ready for your bar mitzvah. That may very well be. And there's, that's Tina. That was my mom's dog. That was the first dog that we had in the house before Fluffy. I don't know if you remember Fluffy, but and you may remember Tina. Tina was a little toy fox terrier that used to hide under the uh, sofa and look tiny. But now you can see the shot just before that. It was a little tubby uh, dog. Who Your only mother had a, a lot, a lot of love for this dog. Well, that dog was really only attached to my mother. Our our dog was Fluffy, and then Tootsie afterwards was my dad's dog. And before that, we had Taffy, but we had to get rid of it because it, it bit me. <laughs> it was a Cocker Spaniel. 
All right. You guys are dancing here, getting ready for a bar mitzvah. Yeah, there you go. I wonder if this is services or if this is the party. I, it might be a party. Yeah, it had to be the party because I remember my bar mitzvah suit. That wasn't it. There's Linda right, so we're, who towered yeah, over me I, five foot one and she still is. Again, this is probably in your house in Oak Park. Look yes. How nice, you're beautiful your mother looked. Oh, that oh, for sure. It's my house because that you did you see that picture? That Let's painting see. was done by Beverly Curtis, so that's definitely our house. Let's see here. You're talking. Let me see if I can uh, show this. a couple this here. frames before that. I'm going backwards here. Yeah, yeah. It was just a real quick flash. It's a bright blue, and it had a like a Van Goghish type looking guy there, and fr a fruit basket. Actually, yeah, Jerry Curtis. We got after there it is. So that that painting was was done by Beverly Curtis with a bunch of things in our house. That little treasure box was there, and that little painting, and uh, she did that for our house, and it was there all the way up until. Uh, Mom moved to her senior apartment and I gave it to Jerry Curtis. I offered it to Shelly and she said Jerry would like it. And so he had it over at the, the senior living place he was at. And that's the hallway. That's that's my famous room with your favorite closet that I'm coming out of. I love that closet. Yeah. All right now, this is interesting. You're getting pe some kind of Pepto Bismol here. And yeah, you that's to a be little Ill. weird. Well, might have been nerves. I've had a ner I, my nervous stomach might have st started back then. So I think this is probably before your bar mitzvah. And uh, if it's dated, I can tell you exactly when because the bar mitzvah was for sure March 16th. I was actually not 13. My bar my birthday was the 19th, and my bar mitzvah was the 16th. <laughs> What do you think that is a gift of some kind yeah it might have been i might have been already counting my gifts but i don't know how that would be if this is after the party or be or maybe after the service you know what it is this looks like you you guys getting ready to go to florida or going on a trip oh that could be well the, the i remember i don't remember the year we went to florida maybe it is because the year we went to the bahamas i was already I think 16. Your father was such a nice guy. He was. He was the best. He really was in his price range, you know. Yeah. Well, he, you know, well, I always said he was the nicest guy you'd ever want to meet. And I, I don't even have to say I'm biased because there's plenty of people that would attest to it. Oh yeah, okay, so here that, you that we're going on a plane. So that that that's this may not be my bar mitzvah film. This is an astro jet. This might have been. That. I think we stayed at the pub with you guys. If it's all of us together, if I'm it keeps if it keeps going, I can tell you. Uh, and she might have given me some Pepto Bismol, so I wouldn't be air sick. I remember yeah. that. I remember that sweater. Is that bizarre? So that looks Remember, like Rosie's house. Yeah, look at this. First of all, you see this trick you're doing standing on your head? Uh -huh. You will do this at your bar mitzvah party. Uh huh. Because also, it's, yeah. Also, take a look at the furniture in the background, the plastic on it. That was such yeah, a thing at that, the time. Well, maybe it is our house. I don't know because the only ones I remember having plastic on the front. Oh no, that's you know where that is. That we're in Chicago. I wonder how your dad got this. That's my that's that's why I remember it. This is my that's my Papa High, and this is say that in again. Chicago. When you say but, pop, when you when you say Hyman Papa Fisher, High. Hyman Fisher, my mom's dad, F I S C H E R. That's a hundred percent their apartment in Chicago. So I wonder how your dad got a hold of that. You definitely were. Uh... You were a pugilist. Does it say the date on it? Oh, 
Okay, now here we are. This looks like some kind of a party here. All a lot of women. So would there have been, could there have been a shower or a sweet sixteen or someone getting married? Who's this? That looks like Judy. That's my aunt Judy, I think. Well, Judy it couldn't be her sweet sixteen because she was nine years older than me and eleven years younger than my mom. That's Rosie. Oh, that's Lil Kaladenko, the one next to Rosie. She's a friend of my of my uh she's a friend of my grandmother and grandfather. They they were like you guys and us. They were like family, but they weren't. That's Judy. Wonder what Sweet this Judy is. Blue eyes. Yeah, she's got real pretty blue eyes. Just like Granny. That's Rosie. So why would we all be in Chicago? Maybe Judy was graduating high school. No, can't be. When I was Next 13. Year. No, that's Go much younger. That's much earlier. Oh, you know what? That might is that me? No, that's not me. I don't think so. You're the bar mitzvah boy. This is maybe that's <laughs> Lloyd. That might be Lloyd. Maybe it's his bris. That sounds more like something. That that would be uh, I don't know whose dog that is. That would be Bert's son, if that's who I'm thinking. When you say Bert, can you give me the full name? Bert Fisher, F I S C H E R. But I'm not sure that's Lloyd. It might be. It's, I, I I gotta think it is because, uh, yeah, because he's older than Mark. Mark was not at my bar mitzvah. Mark Brodsky, Judy's son, oldest because he was about to be born. So, so that's Lloyd Brodsky. So I'm thinking that this is Lloyd Fisher and that might be their dog Rommel, but Rommel was uh or the, when you say Lloyd Fisher, Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd Fisher Lloyd. is Bert Fisher's oldest son. So that's my first cousin in from Chicago. Who is Bert Fisher married to? Bert Fisher at that time was married to Eileen Fisher. And he is two years younger than my mom. And they did have a German Shepherd, but I don't remember if they had it when he was only a baby. Because that, Your mother I think that, dogs. that dog's name, I think, is Rommel. Because <laughs> okay, it was a German Shepherd. It. Oh, wait, wait. OK, that's me. Oh, no, that's Lloyd. That's Lloyd right there. So I don't know who the baby was. That's the guy. The, the kid in the red sweater is Lloyd Fisher. L L O Y D. That's Bert's son. So I wonder who the baby. The ba He's much older than uh, his. He's not that much older than his brother Michael. So I don't know who the baby is. And mom will have no idea anymore. So she's not going to be of any help. But that's definitely Lloyd right there. Wow. I'll have to show Judy this when you send it to me. Oh, we'll make it real nice. We'll put all the titles in and identify yeah. the people. That's Hyman Fisher, H-Y-M-A-N. That's me with my glasses. I wonder why I didn't have my glasses before. That's Rosie. Because I didn't start wearing contacts till I was 16. That's Judy. That's that's Idell. Granny. Idell. I D E L E Fisher F I S C H E R. I think it's I D E L E. I don't know if there's two L's. I'll have to ask. Uh, Idell is your mother's mother. Oh, yeah, that's oh. my mom. That's my mom's mother and my mom's father. And Judy's the daughter. I'm trying to figure out why we were there. And how your dad got this is beyond me, unless he got a hold of film and did a part of his. This is such a beautiful uh, Kodachrome kind of moment, you know? Yeah, well, this is definitely, this is 100% in Chicago. So I don't know what the occasion was. That might be Bert's basketball trophies back there.
So did I tell? I'm just you're just writing this stuff down. I'm not narrating, right? <clears throat> no, I'm recording this. I do oh, okay. a, a all right. A well, side because video. I mean, just as an aside, and you could edit it, but um, they that apartment had a really long hallway. It was on the corner of Kedzie and Wilson in uh, Northwest Chicago. And I used to run up and down the hallways and Linda would too. And my granny would scream, stop running up and down the hallways. The, the landlady will kick us out. So when Linda was very young, they, asked, you know, somebody asked her the, the usual question, what do you want to be when you grow up? And her answer was the landlady. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. And they, they lived across from a church on Kedzie and Wilson. Then they moved to uh, an area called uh, North Rogers Park on Sacramento and Devon, and that was across from a church. And then the last place they lived was a condo uh, in Des Plaines, and the, church, the street name was Church. <laughs> wow. Yeah. There's Handsome Harvey. You never look. You never felt uh, the love like you felt from a father like Harvey. You know. Oh yeah, he was just a big teddy bear. Had a mean bone in his body. I never heard him raise his voice. Never. Never swore. Never raised his voice. No, he was just always mellow. Yep. He was the laid back guy. <laughs> I'm yeah, telling you, my, you the pugilist again. Yeah, I guess. Shots at him. I guess. Well, I remember one of the games that we used to play that he would pick me up and I would squeeze him as hard as I can. And it was like nothing. You know, that was like our greeting. <laughs> yes. It was, it was like uh, uh, somebody throwing darts at an elephant. <laughs> you were you were hitting the mark, but it wasn't doing anything. So here, okay. I, I believe this is your bar, your bar mitzvah at the Furniture Club on Detroit. Okay, that may very well be. It looks like it could be. That was that your sister? Nope, that was Harris. Who's this? What's the band that's blocked? Terry something. I don't know. I wouldn't know the band. Mom would only know that, and she probably doesn't remember something. It, Terry something orchestra. You know who that might be? I don't know. Right there? You recognize these people? Uh, not really. I don't know who that. Oh, that's that might be Craig Posen, the one on the right, a buddy of mine from Craig, school. Craig Posen. Yeah. And I don't know who the girl is. How about this here? Okay, well, let's see if I can figure this out. Uh, that is. Yeah, I'm not making that out. That might be relatives of my grandmothers and grandfathers. I can't make them out. My girl looks familiar, but I don't know who she could be. But they're certainly in the spotlight. And they got a matching outfit here, you know? Yeah. Now, this guy's jacket. What happened to the jacket? We need the jacket back. Yeah, baby. <laughs> there, that's got to that be the lead singer right there. The shy 68 ball ball. March. Yeah, that's got to be my right. for March so, 60. You're at your party. Oh, there I am again. I, I, I like that headstand, huh? And you got applause for this. I wonder, well, I guess we didn't wear the suit that I wore at the bar mitzvah at the party. Oh, let's see who we got there. That might be, no, they wouldn't have been there because Judy wasn't there. I was going to say, I thought that was Stuart's father, but it's not. I don't know who it is. I mean, so the amount of uh, energy and, uh, I mean, this predates... Uh... Oh yeah, this a was like of, early break dancing before it was existing. Yes. 
I mean, the funny thing is, is if you look at this, you might think that's what I was doing, but it didn't exist. All right, so now. Trip to Florida. Here we are. Well, trip to Florida, March 16th, was the exact day of my birthday, so that can't be. Yeah, it's we a rough it guess. It might have been. Not birthday, my bar mitzvah. But I do remember going to the, staying at the pub, which was, what was the name of the, the pub was the restaurant. What was the name of the hotel? It's my mom. Oh, she's getting risky there. What was the name of the hotel? I can't remember. I, I just, I couldn't pick it out from any of the video. Well, we could look it up because it was right next to the castaways and the and the the restaurant, which was awesome, was the pub. Oh, the Newport. That's what it was. It was the Newport. That's the name we of the hotel. The New, and we were at the Newport Hotel and the restaurant was the pub, which had uh, really good food. Where was in what to, where what it city? was 163rd and Collins, roughly, I think. Oh, so this is in Miami Beach. Yes. 16701 Collins Avenue. It's the Newport Hotel in Miami. Yep, that's it. I am in a meeting. I'm going to have to call you back. Oh, okay. Yeah, put them on yep. the phone. Maybe there's something to add to this. <laughs> You know, it's interesting. This is before you got tall. You were still a. Uh, oh, yeah, I was. Well, you know, nobody would ever believe it unless you saw the pictures, because at my bar mitzvah, I was four foot eleven. In 10th grade, I was five foot five. Uh, in, and from 10th grade to 11th grade, I grew six inches. I was five eleven and a half and or five eleven, still still shorter than my mother. And then I grew all the way up into law school until I, and then I was six two. But I was always your mother would tell you, which you know, obviously. But in the day, she would remember that when she came, I used to always go back to back with her to see how tall I was because I wanted to be tall. I was the last person in the world to be taller than their mother, except when your mother's five eleven and a half. It's no easy feat. So, all right, that's what I needed to see there. Uh, I got all the stuff here. Is there any final words I, uh, you'd like to add in your defense? Uh, I refuse to answer on the grounds that it might incriminate me. Right, but that, yeah, so that's bits and pieces of right around that area. But yeah, that's definitely that was definitely uh, the Newport Hotel. I came out of my senioritis fog and remember the name. Well, that's perfect. OK, well, uh, I'm going to take this, edit some of this. I appreciate this, Jeffrey. Ah, yeah, no worries. I, it's it, I'm surprised that I didn't recognize the couple people that were by the dance floor because they're you know I know if I look at my album which we have somewhere I remember most of the people now most of them are gone but I remember who they are. Well, what's going to very good. Is so did I tell you the one about the? I think I might have told you this one already. Did I tell you about the one about the Orthodox Jew that went out of the country and couldn't find a synagogue, so he went to a Catholic church? Did I tell you that one? You did. Okay. Yes, you did. It's a good one. All right. I'm talking to you later. Goodbye. Okay. Thanks. That was fun.